Hey y'all, welcome to um, this week's edition of the Random Thoughts Sunday Vidcast. I'm recording this on Saturday night so I can get it up there actually on Sunday earlier instead of um, later like I usually do. So, um, there's several things I want to go over this week. First off is I've had um, one to update on my exercising. Hasn't gone well this month. I haven't really walked in about two and a half weeks, and my fault, totally my fault. I do not like that that fact at all. But I did set up the treadmill today, and I'm going to start doing it, walking on it. Pro um, what what happened was, I, I know that I've talked about this before. Excuse me. But, I really, really ran into a wall uh, a couple of weeks ago, and it, it, it took me out. It was a combination of my back hurting pretty badly and me being sick. So hopefully, with this treadmill, I'll be able to take some of the pressure off my back so I can lose weight. Because I know a lot of it just has to do with the weight I'm, I'm carrying. So... If I can get the weight off, I know I'll be able to walk outside, because I'd rather walk outside. I don't like using treadmills. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm just praying that it works out. So that there, there's that. What I'm going to do is walk every other day, and then do some other form of exercise on the off days. So, like... Tomorrow I'll walk on Sunday, and then Monday I'll, I'll do some sit-ups and push-ups, and then Tuesday I'll walk, and then Wednesday I'll do some sit-ups and push-ups, like that. That way I'm exercising every day, but I'm not doing the same thing every day. Um, okay, also some good news is at the end of this month I'll be soda-free for two months, so that'll be Wednesday will be my two month anniversary of not drinking soda. And I gotta say it's it, it's become a lot easier in that time period. Um, for the first three weeks or so it just it was not easy. I know you've probably heard this before so I won't go into detail but it, it, it's a lot easier now though I do get some uh, I still get some twinges every now and then. I've also decided to move out of the place I'm in in April, so that gives me a month to get ready, and I realize there's a, there are a lot of things I need to do during that time period. Um, first off is I need to get um, a steady income coming in, which I'm working on. I Basically, I started writing online. I, I this. I'm reading through a couple of books I have. One a friend of mine bought me last year, and one I got a hold of this week. A friend of mine showed me another friend of mine showed me on uh, showed me the link on the internet, so I was able to download it. It's pretty interesting. It's called The Moonlighter's Guide to Making Money Online. I think it's like four bucks on Amazon right now, but. I was able to get it for free, so score. It has a lot of good information in it, too. Um, I'm going to be writing... Basically, it, it, it boils down to this. I need to have an eight-hour work day. I need to have a protracted time where I'm just doing work. And that's not something I've done in a year and a half. So I have to get back into that habit, and it's a habit I need to do myself... I'm not working for anybody else, I'm working for me, and if I don't do that, I'm not going to be making any money at this. And what I want to do is basically hit a bunch of different content writing websites and just write stuff with them every day, like constant content. I found another one, what's it called? I, I can't remember what it's called. But I, I just need to hit these every day, and I feel like I can start making a decent living at it. I just have to work at it. It's going to take work. So there's that. I have to get that income in to move. 
I also am going to go through all my boxes I have, sell everything I don't need, and figure out what I want to take with me. And if I if I need to take stuff if I need to take stuff, I might have to put it in storage until I figure out where I'm going to do where I'm going to be at. But I'll get into that a little bit later. I also need some kind of transportation. Um, whether it be a car or a bike, I need to be able to get down to the store, get groceries for myself, things like that. I don't know if I need a, a car at this moment. I want to get a decent vehicle. I haven't had one in a long time. I've had some vehicles, but they... Man... My history with vehicles in the last five or six years hasn't been good. And I'm, I'm tired of getting crappy, crappy vehicles. And I don't have the credit to get a new vehicle, so I'm just going to have to get a really good used vehicle. So, anyway, or a bike. I'm thinking about getting a bike that would help me lose weight, I think. So, we'll see. I might get both and just use the bike to, for local stuff and use the car for non-local stuff. We'll see. I, I, my plan is to still travel around the country. And, I, and like I said last week, I do want to go to Europe at some point. So, I have to keep that in mind as well. Okay, talking about where I'm going to move to. My grandma came to me a few weeks back and said, Hey, why don't you move into a hotel? An extended stay hotel for a while. You know, it's fairly cheap. They um, cover all expenses. They have internet and things like that. And I thought, first I was like, I'm never going to do something like that. But thinking about it, and I think I'm going to do it for a couple of months because I need to figure out what I'm going to do, where where I go from here. And I, my, my first goal is I just want to get out of this house. I just want to leave. I want to get back out on my own. And after that, I can figure out what the plan is. So if I just take a couple of months kind of, you know, regroup after the last half decade and just continue on, you know, I have a lot of stuff I want to do, but right now I just need to focus on getting out of the house. Then I can see if I want to move to another state, if I want to stay in Arizona, things like that. I, I, I am fairly young. I'm not married. I don't have any kids. I really have no responsibilities on that end, so I can do stuff like pack up and go to Europe if I wanted to, which is pretty neat. I just need the income. So that's where I am with that. And it's, it's exciting. I get, I get, I like the idea. And then, you know, it hits me that, well, well, what if I don't, can't do that? What if I end up like, George Bailey and always wanting to travel somewhere but never being able to do it. Well, he had a good life and I've had a pretty good life so if that happens it, it's not the end of the world. Okay, moving on. So I know I mentioned that I'm trying to write online and I have a little bit of a plan going what I'm doing is I'm hitting this site called Constant Content and I'm writing articles for them every day. Well, I haven't done it every day like I wanted to, but I'm working on it. Sometimes things, the kinks, you know, there, there's kinks that you have to get out and all that when you try something new and you have these goals that you reach and sometimes you just kind of have to redo the goals. Now, I think I'm going to lay off that plan till Monday because what I need to do right now is just get my life a little bit more organized um, over the next couple of days, tonight and tomorrow. I want to get my room straightened up, start going through those boxes like I said earlier, and just 
start preparing to leave. But I need to set aside work hours. I have to have work hours. I need to have, hey, these hours of the day I'm setting aside for work. Now, it's been really difficult to do that. I've tried it in the past, in the past couple of years, because um, every time I do that, something comes up for my family. You know, I have to go get somebody. I have to go do something, blah, blah, blah. I get phone calls. And it, it's just, it, it gets frustrating. So basically what I'm going to have to do is just turn off my phone, lock my door, and just ignore everybody for six to eight hours while I'm working. But I need to have that done every day. Um, you know, I need to do, I need to work at it, work at my writing. But I'm confident it'll happen, so I'm not worried. Hmm. Rejection. Um, I sent my first article. Well, not my first, but my first article in this. Um, in the my first recent article into Constant Content today, uh, the other day, and it came back rejected today. There's some formatting errors, I guess. I'm not sure what happened. If I sent the, if I uploaded the wrong article, if um, I uploaded it in a in a file type that took all the formatting I did out of it. So that was that was a little bit disappointing. Rejection isn't easy, but it, it's it's part of life. You know, and it's it's actually a lot easier for me to deal with now than say eight years ago. And at least this was purely rejection on technical things. So I can go in and fix those, and I can reformat, which is good. But it's still, I mean, you you don't like seeing something you worked on and it, and people telling you that they don't want it, but it's a learning curve. The rejection is a lot less um, snarky than it was in the past, so I'm getting better. Um, so I'm I'm going to continue on with it. And like I said, starting Monday, I'm going to have office hours. Have to have office hours. If I don't, I'm going to go crazy. If I'm not there yet. Anyway, all right. The game of the week uh, started last week. I decided to call it the Gaming Archive. Um, you'll see in this blog I wrote about it on Wednesday, and I posted a, posted basically a review of the game I did last week. And I'm going to do that again, but I think I'm going to have it on Monday. So I'll write it tomorrow, and then I'll put it up on Monday. Here's what's going. Here's what I played last week. I played Skies of Arcadia Legend. It is a very fun Japanese RPG for the GameCube. I'm actually playing it on my Wii, but if you have a GameCube, you can pick it up and play it. It is it has some interesting interesting combat mechanics that involve colors. Like, you can change the colors of your weapons, and if the enemies have the opposite color, your weapon will do more damage. But if they have the same color, your, your weapons will do less damage. Also, it has a interesting ship-to-ship -ship combat mechanic, because it, it takes place in a land where there's a lot of air pirates and things of that nature. And what what happens when you, have, when you fight another ship or you fight an enemy in the air, a grid pops up, and you have to assign each person on the ship a duty like firing the cannons, firing the main cannons, firing the aft cannons, moving the ship up, moving it down, things of that nature. But you do that once per turn, then after that everything plays out. So the enemy can, res um, you, you're basically trying to figure out what the enemy is going to do before they do it. This leads to some interesting, interesting battles, and sometimes you have to be defeated to understand how the enemy works and go back in and do it. It's it. Th this is not. This is not a modern difficulty game. It's very. It, it, it's not easy. They send you into places where you have to know what you're doing with your characters, or you're going to die. And you you know how modern gaming is in the last like five years or so. 
a lot of the games are just so easy to get through that you wonder if difficulty is is involved in anything anymore. But this is uh this is an old school Japanese RPG, so expect cutscenes. Um expect some goofy looking people, but it has some great combat and I, I would recommend it for anybody that likes JRPGs. The game I'm going to concentrate on this week is the Guild Wars series. The first one with Guild Wars Prophecies, Guild Wars Nightfall, Guild Wars Factions, and the expansion pack I have the North. Guild Wars 2 is coming out this year, and I've had get these games for a long time, but I've never actually beat any of them. I'm close to beating the Prophecies campaign. So I want to go through beat them and get my Hall of Monuments stuff set up. That the Hall of Monuments will be transferred into the next game, so I want to get that stuff set up before the new one comes out. Anyway. Alright, that is uh, that is the random vidcast for Sunday this week. I have tried to stop being so twitchy, but I don't know if I did it today. I, I had a comment from a friend of mine that said I just need to stop um, moving so much during these, so we'll see. I also started growing my goatee back, so you guys will see that in the future, if I don't shave it. Anyway, have a great week. God bless.